low again. So to start, this time I will give a little tutorial on how to build geometry within GMesh. And I mentioned that you can import geometry as a step file from basically any geometry built in any other 3D modeling program. And that might be useful in the future. But for now, our geometry is simple enough that we can build everything, at least for a while, directly in GMesh. So if you open this folder, you should just be able to click directly on the program here. If not, you might it might just show up somewhere else on your computer and you can find the program, open GMesh. It'll look pretty simple. You'll want right away to just save the file and just save it to some folder, either locally on your computer or in the shared OneDrive. But you basically want to just start out with a good place where you can add in all of the new models that you'll be building and can expand them all out from there. So I'll just pretend I did that. This one will save on my computer just as untitled.geo, but I'll delete it in a little bit. So for now, you want to open the geometry tab, click on the elementary uh, entities, and begin to add geometry. The way that you add it in GMesh is by first of all defining the points and then the lines or circles or edges or whatever that connect all of those points. And then from there, build out to everything else. So we want to define a point. We're saying it's at 0, 0, 0. I'm just going to make a rectangle to start. So I add that one, and I change the x coordinate to be 0.3. Make another one. Change this to be 0.1. Make another one. Set this one back to 0 so we can get the upper left corner. So now we have all corners defined. And every time, even if you close that, you still have to click Q in order to close the point definition down. Otherwise, you'll be making all sorts of points all over the place. So Q. Then we can add lines. Lines are a little bit easier because you just basically connect the dots. We've all been able to do that for a very long time. So then Q again. From there, now we have a rectangle. And this first tutorial is going to be all describing a 2D beam. And I won't add a circular resonator yet. I'll go through simply just with a beam and then do it in 3D and go all the way through the whole solving process. And then we can come back and add a resonator and see how to get those good results. So here's our beam. We want to add in a physical group. So we can add a physical curve. And we want this just to be called left edge. Why not? So with the left edge, we define it. We click, click there, and then click E, and that saves it. So we can type right edge, click the line, click E, that saves it, and then click Q, exit out of that. And now we can go and add one more physical group. Let's add a physical surface. That's just this surface. We want it to be called, oh, I'm missing one step, sorry. I have to back up and add a plane surface first. So geometry, add, plane surface. It's just like the, the point, the line, and then the plane surface. Click your boundary, click E. There, now we have a plane surface defined. And when we go to add a surface in a physical group, we can just call it a beam. Here it is. Any of those dotted lines you can just click on. At least those, those main ones, these ones don't do anything. But click there, click E, click Q to quit. Now we can see easily it's defined as the beam. This is defined as the left end edge. Right edge, you could have defined the top and the bottom edges the exact same way as the right and left. 
But for now, we have this, and in the next video, I'll show you how to add a mesh.